A cone of radius 4 cm with a slant height of 12 cm was sliced horizontally, resulting in a smaller cone and a frustum. Actually, radius 4 cm, slant height 12 cm. This is 4, this is 12. The ratio of the curved surface area of the upper smaller cone to the lower frustum is 1 is to 2. So we are cutting it somewhere here. This to this is 1 is to 2, but you are talking about only curved surface area. And I am going to flip this and then say the area of the top cone by overall cone is 1 by 3. Remember, because it is only curved surface area, we can plug this in, but otherwise this small tiny circle that is there, that will get added on. So you have a curved surface around this, curved surface around this. The area of this curved surface plus area of the, this curved surface in the ratio of 1 is to 2. Or curved surface of top cone by overall cone is 1 is to 3. This where x, this alone is 2x. x plus 2x is 3x, 1 by 3. Fine. Think about this. Area of the curved surface is pi r l. Right. So if we call this as r, this is l, this one is l. This one is R and the area ratio we are looking at is pi R L by pi R L. This is 1 by 3. Remember R and L are in the same ratio. All we need to do is to figure out that ratio. Nothing else. Right? Nothing else. So ratio here. So pi gets cancelled. R L by R L is 1 by 3. R and L. R by R is equal to L by L r square by r square is 1 by 3 or r is r by root 3. That's all we need to do. When the question is what will be the slant height of the frustum? So this is 12. Slant height of this part again similar triangles overall is 12. So this slant height will be 12 by root 3. So the remaining slant height is 12 minus 12 by root 3. 12 minus 12 by root 3 into root 3 by root 3. Root 3 into root 3 is 3. This is 4. 12 minus 4 root 3. We have a winner.